Invisible, silenced, and erased. Many Native people in America say that's how they've felt for decades. This year, those feelings were compounded on election night when a news outlet showed this graphic lumping anyone who was not black or Hispanic into one category. So when, you know, CNN reported the something else uh, graphic, I mean, it was ridiculous. It, how I mean, how quickly social media reacted and Native Americans reacted. I mean, it was swift, it was fast. Crystal Echo Hawk is CEO and president of the Oklahoma-based nonprofit Illuminative. She says Native people were able to take the quote something else graphic and turn it into a hashtag to shed light on the larger issue. Native Americans are tired of being erased. We are, st we are more than still here, right? We are thriving, we are contributing members of the society, you know, from our, our tribal nations to the fact that 70% of our people live in cities now. The organization decided it was time to assess Native attitudes on representation through its Something Else survey. We did a national poll uh, of 3,600 Native Americans from all across the United States uh, to really, you know, to give voice to Native Americans. We are more than something else. 93% of those polled reported feeling anger when seeing CNN's graphic. Illuminative paired up with the Native American Journalists Association to demand an apology from CNN, which eventually came through an Associated Press article. Now, Echo Hawk's organization is turning its attention to the first 100 days of President-elect Joe Biden's administration, using responses from the survey to drive its focus. We found that more than 70% of Ameri Native Americans believe it's absolutely essential for the new administration to name a Native American to the cabinet. Thursday, they received the news they were hoping for, as President-elect Biden nominated Democratic Congresswoman Deb Holland from New Mexico for the position as Secretary of the Interior. If confirmed, she will be the first Native American to serve in that position. It would be history making, right? To have the first Native American lead the agency that has long been responsible for the, the managing of the relationship between the federal government and Native Americans. And I think to see, you know, Representative Holland named in that position would really help to reset, I think, the federal government's relationship to Native peoples. 66% of Something Else survey respondents reported COVID-19 as the top priority President-elect Biden needs to address in the first 100 days. According to a Center for Disease Control and Prevention report released this summer, American Indian and Alaskan natives are 3.5 times more likely to have positive COVID-19 test results. Native American people were also usually younger and had worse outcomes due to lack of running water, household size, and shared transportation. That stat is what Echo Hawk says makes the battle for invisibility and representation so critical. But she says Native people cannot fight that fight alone. 2020 has been an incredible reckoning with systemic racism. Um, and, you know, I think the time as we look to the call to action for 2021 is like, let's let's forge a new way together. And that includes recognizing the, the role of Native Americans alongside everyone else. That's Eddie Randall reporting. This is just one of the many stories that are part of, part of our Voices of Change series. You can see them all on our app and website, 9news.com slash Voices of Change. We'll be right back.